stay standing as senior class president Emory Josie leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Audience, you may be seated. Good evening. I'm Rhonda Snow, the high school principal. I would like to welcome you to Chickasha High School graduation exercises honoring the class of 2022. On behalf of our graduating seniors, thank you for attending tonight's ceremony. In the audience, we have parents, relatives, friends, educators, and others that have all invested time and money to help these young men and women reach this important time of their lives. Tonight, this investment becomes a reality. Seniors, this event is not just about your accomplishments, but also about their support in helping you reach this milestone. Students, at this time, if you will help me show your appreciation for this invaluable support. Before we proceed with this evening's program, I'd like to introduce you to our guest on stage. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Rick Croslin, Superintendent of Chickasha Public Schools. Jennifer Stegman, Assistant Superintendent of Chickasha Public Schools. Young siblings in the district. That's first grade. <laughs> in addition to his focus on academics, Pike has involved himself in Chickasha soccer for seven years, being an important part of the team that placed second last week in state. He has also been in the drumline for Pride of Chickasha Band since sixth grade. Pike is an Oklahoma Academic Scholar in National Honor Society and Oklahoma Honor Society, among many other things. He will attend Oklahoma Baptist University in the fall to major in Biblical and Theological Studies. Please welcome Pike Butler. Good evening, esteemed guests. My name is Pike Butler. I'm a graduating senior, a part of Chickasha's soccer team and the Pride of Chickasha Band. I have been attending Chickasha Public Schools since moving here in the first grade. Thinking back on my childhood, I have enjoyed playing for CYSA, going to get snow cones at Jungle Ice, attending the Festival of Light every winter, going to Falls Creek with friends, going to the drive-in movies, and simply living the small town life. Thank you to everyone who's poured into me, as well as all the other graduates here before you today. Thank you teachers, mentors, loved ones, and friends. Your support has made it possible for all of us to stand here today. As we sit here tonight, I want us to think on the word perseverance. What is perseverance? Perseverance is the ability to overcome obstacles even when the going gets hard. Quite simply, to persevere is to not give up no matter how hard it gets until you reach your goals. I'm convinced that perseverance will always be a key factor in any kind of success you find in life. Walter Elliott once said, perseverance is not a long race. It is many short ones, one after the other. This idea rings true in my life, from the perseverance necessary to play soccer to simply having an organized schedule in ordinary life. Perseverance has also played a role in my relationship with God. It has given me a deeper understanding of his true character of God and his faithfulness in my life during difficult times. Perseverance is a necessary quality that will help each of us find success in our own way. The greatest display of perseverance that we've all had to show these past four years would definitely be the year of 2020. In 2020, new concepts that we had never experienced as teens were implemented. The mask, staying six feet apart, virtual learning, quarantines, the idea that you never know when things will change in a moment's notice. Perseverance was invaluable for everyone to have during that time. 2020 turned into one short race after the other. First, the mass quarantines, then the mask mandates. 
then the uncertainty of knowing when life would go back to normal. 2020 felt as if every time you finished a race, the next one, more grueling and painful than the last started. Now the dust has settled somewhat this school year, and looking back, we can say for certain that perseverance can help to push through even the hardest of times. As we continue into this new chapter of life, let us not forget what has gotten us this far. Now we are graduating, and we can assume we will face new trials unlike anything we have experienced before. This will require us to use perseverance in a new and unexpected way. With the ending of this old chapter of life and the beginning of a new one, I encourage you all to do hard things to build up the valuable quality that is perseverance so that when the time comes for the next big challenge, you will be ready to face it. As we close this chapter of life, let us remember all the good times. Let us grow from the difficult ones, and let us remember the ways we have persevered. Before I finish, um, I want us all to I guess, yeah. But thank you all. Thank you, friends and family, teachers and students. Thank you for pushing us to our greatest potential and helping us now as we move into this new chapter of our lives. And let us never forget. Our next speaker is Amelia Bond. She's Amelia has been a student in Chickasha School since pre-K. She has involved herself in soccer all four years of, of high school, Junior Optimist Club, and has worked hard to obtain the status of number one in her class by taking numerous honors, advanced placement, and concurrent college courses. She is an ac Oklahoma Academic Scholar in National Honor Society and Oklahoma Honor Society. Please welcome Amelia Vaughn. Good evening, I'm Amelia Bond, and on behalf of the class of 2022, I would like to welcome friends, family, teachers, coaches, administrators, and everyone else who took part in our high school experience over the past four years. But most importantly, I would like to welcome my fellow class of 2022. We made it. This is a moment we've been looking forward to since we first stepped foot into Chickasha High School as freshmen. Well, most of us anyway. Some of us never pictured we'd get this far. But it's not time to reminisce just yet. First, let's get the boring part out of the way. Although boring, this part is still substantial and very sincere. So with that being said, I would like to give a huge, huge thank you to our teachers, administrators, staff, and everyone else who takes part in making the Chickasha school system what it is. We could not have made it here without you. As well as a huge thank you to our families who dealt with us along the way and shaped us into the people we have become. Also, one more thank you to my classmates for allowing me the opportunity to be the one in front of you tonight. I never imagined that it would be me, but I'm great, very uh, grateful and honored to have this experience. The experience in question, you may ask? Weeks of speech. Having listened to speech after speech, trying to decide what to write about, I wondered why so many speeches were so boring. And this is what I came up with. The speakers are not chosen to give these speeches because we are gifted writers, competent speakers, or even funny. We aren't really chosen at all. This opportunity is placed into our hands because of our eminence among our classmates. These also seem boring because the audience is eager for the ceremony to be over, long speeches are tedious and dull, and because it's difficult to be inspirational without being trite or cliche. So here I try my hand at a valedictorian speech for the class of 2022. Before I try to leave you all inspired, I would like to take it back to August 2018, freshman year. We had moved on from Chickasha Middle School and all walked in completely clueless, and along with us came some other people we didn't yet know. But over time, we created unbreakable bonds, memory after memory, and became slightly less clueless. Then as sophomore year rolled around, so did a worldwide pandemic. Look at the bright side. We got an extra long summer, but that just made coming back for junior year even harder. As we became upperclassmen, we were still in a worldwide pandemic, and school was nothing like before. But we made it through the hardest year of high school and did it under unthinkable circumstances. Throughout these years, we couldn't wait to get out of here and move on to whatever comes next. And senior year started the same way. 
As time went on, though, we began to wish it would slow down. We raced through the first three and a half years of high school, wanting nothing more than to be out of this place. But as the last semester came to an end, we realized we took the time and people we had here for granted and forgot to appreciate the memories we were making in the moment. So to that I say, let us forget about the future, at least briefly, and live in the moment. Now, back to our futures. We are stepping out of the safety net of high school's repetitive, predictable nature and stepping into a world that is unpredictable and ever-changing. Because of this, we have to embrace change, growth, and adaptation. On this day of high excitement, I stand here in front of you all and leave you with this quote. This comes from William Shakespeare. Be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and others have greatness thrust upon them. While you don't determine if you are born great or if greatness is thrust upon you, you do determine if you achieve greatness. Realize that greatness is within your grasp and keep moving forward and persevering, no matter the obstacles. Understand that the fastest way to not reach your destination is to give up along the journey. We started this journey together, but now as we part ways, it is up to you to determine the outcome and your final destination. In closing, I would like to leave you all with another quote. I always knew this day would come. We'd be standing one by one. With our future in our hands, so many dreams, so many plans. I always knew after all these years, there'd be laughter, there'd be tears, but never thought I'd walk away with so much joy, but so much pain. And it's so hard to say goodbye. If you're unaware, this is a quote from a Hannah Montana song, I'll Always Remember You. And although it may be cheesy, I think this is a good representation of how we feel today. Today is a recognition of a milestone in our lives, and to my fellow classmates, I once again say, congratulations, we made it. I wish you all the best of luck, and once again, good evening, everyone, and thank you. The senior class of 2022 is to be commended for its many accomplishments. In just your high school time, you've endured shut school shutdowns, quarantines, virtual and online lessons, yet you have managed to do so with courage, strength, and humor. Your collective accomplishments are many. It has been a joy to watch you grow and mature into young adults. I wish you the very best in your post-high school journey. Mr. Croslin, this class has met all requirements for graduation required by the State Board of Education in Oklahoma and our local school board. It is my privilege and honor to, be, to recommend the class of 2022 for graduation. Please welcome our superintendent, Mr. Rick Croslin. Good evening. It is my privilege to be with you this evening at this special uh, ceremony. I have to admit, this is my favorite absolute favorite thing of every school year is watching our graduates walk in, seeing all the pride, the smile on their faces, and hearing everyone cheer for their kid. It's just a fantastic night. Thank you all for being here right? to our graduates. Congratulations. I would like to recognize a couple of special guests that we have here in the audience with us tonight. It's my privilege to uh, introduce to you Representative Dick Lowe and his wife Judy that are joining us tonight here on the floor. And I'd also like to introduce Mayor Chris Mosley down there next to him. <laughs> Graduates, parents, guardians, family members, staff members, and board members, thank you for an amazing school year full of special moments, challenges, triumphs, championships, and much more. To the graduating class, it has been an interesting four years of high school. You've endured a pandemic. You saw your sophomore year end very abruptly at spring break. Your junior year, well, you were back in school, but you had to wear a mask, and you were six feet social distancing. And how many of you, just by raising your hands very quickly, were quarantined at least one time? Yeah, a lot of fun, junior year. This year, it was a return to normal that flew by very quickly. We are proud of your grit, your endurance, and your ability to adapt to those unexpected challenges that have been thrown your way. I would like to say congratulations on all of your accomplishments that you made in the classroom and on the field or the court. From the scholarships that you've earned, the college or program admissions that you've earned as well, and the championships that you accomplished and your goals, you blaze new paths 
and you've become fine young men and women that your family, your friends, your teachers, and your administrators are very proud of. So, one thing I like to do at graduation for graduates, if you are a first generation graduate from high school, please stand. All right, graduates, if you are joining the military, any branch of the military, please stand. Okay, if you are planning to go to Canadian Valley Technology Center in the fall, please stand. If you have plans to go to a two- or four-year college, please stand. Thank you very much. You may be seated. On behalf of Chickasha Public Schools, thank you for the memories, the accomplishments, and contributions that you have made to our schools and our community over the past 12 years. Tonight, you join the thousands of graduates that have prou proudly become alumni of this great high school since 1903. Contingent upon your completion of all graduation requirements, it is my honor and privilege as your superintendent to declare the class of 2022 to be certified for graduation from Chickasha High School. Congratulations. <laughs>
Megan Joyner.
seniors as they sing the fight song one last time as a Chickasha student. high standards for the fighting chicks, you will forever be remembered for helping continue a noble Chickasha tradition. Whatever course your future takes, it is my sincere hope that you will look back on your years at CHS as having prepared you to meet and deal with the challenges that life will present. Always remember to find your passion and persevere. Just a brief reminder to the audience, please remain seated until all the graduates have exited to the lobby. Graduates. On behalf of the Chickasha Public Schools, congratulations. Seniors, turn those tassels. Woo!